The Trump administration is now escalating its war on poor people uh, by now allowing states to put in work requirements for Medicaid. According to Reuters, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services have now issued guidance making it easier for states to design and propose test programs that implement work requirements and other activities uh, as a condition of eligibility. Those other activities include uh, volunteering or job training. So basically, hey, if you want health care, if you want to be on Medicaid, well, then you're going to have to go and do something. You're going to have to go and volunteer. You're going to have to go and work uh, if you actually want health care. Now, for a lot of people who are on Medicaid, well, a lot of people on Medicaid already work. Um, either that or failing that, they're either children or they're disabled or they're elderly. So they don't really have a chance to be able to work. And plus, since they're poor, that's why they're on Medicaid in the first place. Now, of course... Um, Reuters adds that the states must propose such changes through waivers and f receive federal approval. And, of course, under the Republican Party, um, under Republican governance, I should say, they are likely, very likely to get such approvals. So far, 10 states have proposed requiring some Medicaid ex uh, recipients to work or participate in other activities that also may include skills training, education, job search, volunteering, or caregiving. Those states include Kentucky, Maine, New Hampshire, Arizona, Indiana, and Utah. So again, look, here's the issue. The people on Medicaid are on it because they're poor, right? Generally, people don't want to be poor. And Medicaid used to be for the poorest of the poor. However, the ACA did expand Medicaid to uh, people making 138% of the poverty level. That actually is a great expansion of it, and I think that's a great idea. I think that more people should have health care, uh, should have the ability to go to a doctor uh, when they're sick and be able to afford medications. I, I think it's a great thing. I, I don't think jobs should be a factor in whether or not you get that health care. But of course, Republicans are like, no, no, if you, if you don't work, you shouldn't get health care. If you don't work, you shouldn't get food. If you don't work, you shouldn't get anything. But I happen to believe that health care, along with food and, and housing, is a human right. We are all entitled to that, or we should be. That's look, healthcare is not the same as a TV, right? A big screen TV or, or a Cadillac or whatever. It's your health. It's your health. If you're chronic Ill, if you're chronically ill, you cannot work. Or if you are, it drastically limits your ability to work. Now, on that, Republicans do put in some certain exceptions. They said that uh uh, people with disabilities, the elderly children, and pregnant women uh, will be exempt from work requirements uh, under this, and states would also have to make reasonable modifications for those working through opioid addiction and other substance abuse disorders. However, we don't know what those accommodations or those modifications are actually going to look, uh, look like, but at the same point, that that's beside the whole point. Again, Healthcare is a human right. We shouldn't have to work to be able to have basic health care. We're one of the few countries in the world that does not guarantee health care to everyone regardless of their income. We're, we're a statistical anomaly. Other countries are able to afford to do universal single-payer health care, and they actually can do it because it's cheaper. It doesn't... Uh, I mean... I mean I, Profit motive is not involved in that system, and that's what makes it far more affordable, right? And look, that's what we should be moving towards. We should be moving forwards uh, to doing that. It's it, far too long have we had a system where it's uh, profit-driven and where you actually have to have money to be able to get that health care that again, should be a human right. Everybody should be able to uh, get healthier. Because again, this is not a luxury item. This is basic for human survival. Look, under these exemptions, there are going to be people who are still going to be unable to find work or uh, be able unable to work uh, that depend on Medicaid for their medication and their healthcare needs. And they're not going to be able to have it, right? They're going to lose their health care. And, and we shouldn't be a country that allows people to go without health care. This isn't pie in the sky. This isn't, this isn't a pony, right? At nearly every other industrialized country does it. And they do it for far less than what we do now. This is not the direction that should, we should be going. 
uh, this is this is the opposite direction. We should be going and pushing for more coverage and, and Medicare for all. We need to change that system and Medicare opening up that to everybody. That is what we need to do, not reduce eligibility and put in work requirements. But that's what you get from Republican governance. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.